It's Black History Month in America so what better time to dive into the Black Panther? Wondered how T'Challa, the Prince of Wakanda became the Black Panther, rooted deeply in the customs of the technologically advanced nation of Wakanda. Born to King T'Chaka, T'Challa was groomed from a young age to someday assume the throne and the mantle of the Black Panther, the protector of Wakanda. This wasn't just about royal lineage though, T'Challa's journey was one of intense physical training, rigorous scientific education, and the mastering of combat skills. His transformation into the Black Panther wasn't merely a matter of donning a vibranium suit, it was about embracing a legacy, a duty to protect his people, and a commitment to uphold justice. But the path to the throne wasn't without its obstacles. The untimely demise of his father propelled T'Challa into kingship sooner than expected. And then there was the challenge from his cousin Eric Stevens, also known as Killmonger, who sought to usurp the throne and use Wakanda's advanced technology for world domination. T'Challa's relationship with the Avengers was another significant aspect of his journey. Initially there were conflicts, misunderstandings and disagreements, but over time these formidable superheroes found common ground, turning from adversaries to allies. From prince to king, T'Challa's journey to becoming the Black Panther is a tale of courage, resilience and duty. It's a story that celebrates the power of tradition, the promise of technology, and the unyielding spirit of a king who rose to become a hero. This is the legacy of the Black Panther. Before we go into the lineage of the Black Panther, please like, share, and subscribe. What does it mean to be a king and a superhero? It's a question that T'Challa, our beloved Black Panther, grapples with daily. As the regal monarch of Wakanda and the guardian of his people, T'Challa embodies dual roles that are as challenging as they are rewarding. You see, a lineage that traces back to the first Black Panther, the legendary Bashenga. Bashenga was the warrior king who united the five tribes of Wakanda, establishing the advanced nation we marvel at today. This lineage was passed down through generations, each Black Panther adding to the rich tapestry of Wakanda's history. Among them was T'Chaka, T'Challa's father, a steadfast leader whose reign was tragically cut short, leaving a young T'Challa to ascend the throne. T'Challa's journey from a prince to a king wasn't just about ruling a nation, it was about becoming the Black Panther, the protector of Wakanda. He faced challenges on every front, from political strife to cosmic threats, but he stood tall, embodying the courage, wisdom and strength of his ancestors. But T'Challa isn't the only one to have donned the vibranium suit. His cousin, Eric Killmonger, briefly seized the mantle, driven by a thirst for vengeance and a dream of global liberation. Though his reign was short-lived, Killmonger's impact on T'Challa and Wakanda was profound, forcing them to confront uncomfortable truths and strive for change. And then there's Shuri, T'Challa's brilliant sister. Following the loss of her brother, she stepped up, showing us that the spirit of the Black Panther can be found in the heart of anyone who is willing to fight for their people and their home. The throne of Wakanda carries the weight of legacy and responsibility, a burden only the worthy can bear. As we delve deeper into the lineage of the Black Panther, we see that it's more than just a title. It's a testament to the resilience, courage and wisdom of Wakanda's leaders, a beacon of hope for its people, and a symbol of its indomitable spirit. Marvel's Atlas II in 1988 provided a glimpse into Wakanda's geographical evolution, situating it near Lake Turkana in northwestern Kenya. Surrounded by fictional neighbors like Canaan, Niganda, Rudyara, and more, the shifting borders reflect the dynamic storytelling canvas crafted by Marvel's creative minds. While the Mono Mutapa civilization of Great Zimbabwe and Ethiopia have been cited as inspirations, we'll delve into the varied African influences that writers have drawn upon. Tainahisi Coates points to Ethiopia, and director Ryan Coogler's journey to Lesotho leaves an indelible mark on Wakanda's cinematic portrayal. In Fantastic 453, T'Challa himself narrates Wakanda's genesis, linking it to the greed-driven quest for African resources. Ulysses Claw, the formidable adversary, sought vibranium, echoing the real-world struggles for elements like uranium in the Congo during the nuclear era. Marvel's creative maestros, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, veterans of World War II, were deeply immersed in the nuclear and space age of the 1960s. Having explored radiation and mutation in characters like the Fantastic Four, Hulk and Spider-Man, they turned their attention to the source of such extraordinary powers. 
The parallel with real-world events becomes striking as we delve into the significance of uranium, reminiscent of Shinkolobwe, the Congolese mine with the richest uranium deposit. Shrouded in espionage during World War II, it played a pivotal role in the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. As the Congo gained independence in 1960, the scramble for control over resources unfolded against the backdrop of the Cold War. Katanga's secession, Lumumba's overthrow, and the UN's involvement mirrored the geopolitical intricacies that echoed in the pages of Marvel's Wakanda. In the fervor of the US civil rights movement, Malcolm X passionately intertwined Lumumba's legacy with the struggle for African-American rights. Hailing Lumumba as the greatest black man, Malcolm X criticized US support for Chombe and urged black veterans to join the Congo's fight for true African nationalism. For Malcolm X, the Congo wasn't just a distant land, it mirrored the challenges faced by African Americans. He drew parallels, asserting that, the same schemes are at work in the Congo, that are at work in Mississippi. This comparison resonated in the halls of the UN, echoing in the pages of the New York Times. The origin story of Black Panther reads like an alternate universe, where Patrice Lumumba and Malcolm X serve as the inspirational bedrock. Akin to Batman's quest for justice, T'Challa dons the mantle after the tragic loss of his parents, vowing to avenge their murder. However, his mission extends beyond personal vendettas. It encompasses safeguarding vibranium. As Black Panther's narrative unfolds, it transcends the superhero norm. T'Challa confronts real-world issues, taking a stand against apartheid in South Africa and combating the Ku Klux Klan in the southern United States. His arc becomes a symbol of resistance against systemic oppression. While we celebrate Wakanda as a Marvel wonder, its roots dig deep into the soil of Cold War crises and the tumultuous landscape of an African mine. The clash of ideologies and geopolitical maneuvers during this era forms the unseen backdrop against which Wakanda emerges. Who are the people that shape the man behind the Black Panther's mask? Let's peel back the layers and delve into the relationships that define T'Challa the stalwart guardian of Wakanda. First off, we have Shuri, T'Challa's younger sister. She's not just family, she's the genius behind the Black Panther's tech. It's Shuri's innovative spirit and intellect that keep the Black Panther ahead of the curve, armed with the best vibranium-enhanced gadgets Wakanda can offer. Her relationship with T'Challa goes beyond the typical sibling bond. They're a team, a dynamic duo, each bringing unique strengths to the table. Shuri's technological prowess, coupled with T'Challa's leadership and combat skills, make them a formidable force. Next up we have Nakia, T'Challa's love interest. She's a spy, a warrior, and an independent woman who isn't afraid to challenge T'Challa when it comes to the future of Wakanda. Nakia's passion for her people and her vision for a more globally involved Wakanda push T'Challa to question his own beliefs. Their relationship is a dance between love and duty, a testament to the complexities of ruling a nation while navigating personal relationships. From the heart of Wakanda, we find allies that stand as the backbone of the Black Panther's world. The Dora Milaje, an elite group of women warriors, serve as the personal bodyguards of the Black Panther. These fearless women with their martial prowess and unwavering loyalty are an integral part of the Black Panther's narrative, showing us that strength and courage know no gender. The Dora Milaje are a symbol of strength and loyalty, embodying the spirit of Wakanda. Their unwavering commitment to protecting their king and their nation adds an extra layer of resilience to the Black Panther narrative. These relationships aren't just about providing support to T'Challa, they also challenge him, forcing him to grow as a leader and as the Black Panther. They highlight the human side of T'Challa, the man beneath the vibranium suit. Each relationship brings a unique dynamic, adding depth to his character and contributing to the rich tapestry of the Black Panther story. Behind every great king, there are those who support, challenge and inspire him. And for T'Challa the Black Panther, these relationships define him, shaping his journey as a king, a superhero and a man. How does the Black Panther leap from the comic book pages to the big screen? The Black Panther, or T'Challa, as he's known in his homeland of Wakanda, has a rich history that spans over half a century in Marvel Comics. Now let's talk about the Black Panther's cinematic journey. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Chadwick Boseman breathed life into T'Challa, debuting in Captain America, Civil War before starring in his own movie Black Panther. Boseman's portrayal of T'Challa was nothing short of iconic. Now we know he was combating illness at the time, it is even more amazing. Rest in power, Chadwick Boseman. 
His performance beautifully encapsulated the character's regal bearing, his deep sense of responsibility, and his unwavering commitment to his people. The Black Panther film was more than just a superhero movie. It was a cultural event, a celebration of African heritage and black excellence. It became a symbol of cultural pride and representation, breaking new ground with its predominantly black cast and its exploration of African culture and identity. The film resonated with audiences around the globe, smashing box office records and proving that stories about black heroes can captivate the world. The transition from comic book to film wasn't just about replicating T'Challa's character. It was about capturing the spirit of the Black Panther, the essence of a hero who stands as a beacon of hope and strength for his people. It was about bringing Wakanda to life in all its high-tech glory and showcasing the rich tapestry of its culture and traditions. The Black Panther is not just a hero, he is a symbol of cultural pride and representation. Big cats have consistently served as a source of inspiration in African folklore. To delve deeper into this aspect, I suggest exploring The Lion of Umuna, The Legacy of the Nomads, West African Superheroes Book 1. This narrative is rooted in a village within the Igbo community of Nigeria. Access the link in the bio for further details. The world of the Black Panther is also about the marvel of technology, thanks to Wakanda's rich vibranium reserves. This rare metal powers the nation's scientific and technological advancements, setting Wakanda apart from the rest of the world. From T'Challa's vibranium suit, equipped with energy-absorbing capabilities, to Shuri's tech-savvy innovations, vibranium technology is a testament to Wakanda's futuristic vision. This fusion of tradition and technology, of allies and adversaries, paints a vibrant picture of the Black Panther's world. It's a world where ancient customs coexist with cutting-edge technology, where loyalty is as valuable as vibranium, and where every character, friend or foe, plays a crucial role in shaping the Black Panther's destiny. In the vibrant world of Wakanda, allies, enemies and technology shape the Black Panther's destiny. It's a testament to the enduring legacy of the Black Panther. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share.